All right, so for those that missed it, I'll do a recap of these trades on INDO. Uh, surprising, you know, had basically two trades earlier this morning, was up $17 between the two of them. And then INDO comes out with news at around 940 and halts up at uh, 339. So kind of surprising. Uh, well, I guess it was around 9, 950 that we got the news posted here. Uh, halted up, where was it? Um, right here at about $4.37. I think, I thought it was halted somewhere in this area too, but um, I don't know, maybe maybe not. Anyways, so it's halted there at 437. And, um, you know, the volume was very light. I wasn't really sure about it. And then it dipped, red candle here. And as I first looked at it, I was like, well, the 200 moving average is at um, uh, 445. It's right here. It's, it's, it's going to be running into that level right there. So I was like, I don't know. I, I don't expect much of it. But then as it squeezed uh, back up right here through uh, 445, I said, all right, you know what? It's worth a stab. So I took my first trade around 455, squeezed up to five, took my profit, it was a couple thousand bucks, and I was like, wow, decent. I kept my share size smaller on this, which is why my total profits are smaller. Uh, popped up to 540, pulled back, got a break of 540, bought the dip here to VWAP, added through 540, squeeze up to 620, another halt. Nice. Resumes, hits a high of 754, dips down, pops back up here, uh, goes up to 839. On this candle, I went to full size. It hit a high of 851, and then it flushed down, and I gave back half my profit on the day. I got back in as it squeezed back up here, made back some of that, uh, but then added for the break of nine, and then gave back what I had just made. Uh, then it curls through here. I tried to take a couple dips in this range for the break of 921. We didn't get it. Uh, I didn't really make much money there. So I, at my high, I was up about 16,000, 15,000. So I gave back about half uh, on these sort of tall topping tail candles, and I wasn't able to make back um, what I lost. You know, it is still holding up, all things considered. The high of this candle here is 849, 850. So, you know, this may be a premature recap because we may have more opportunities on it, but we'll see. Bounce off the VWAP there at 756, pops back up to 850. That's a nice dollar a share. So now if we can get through 850 to 875 and 9, 921, if we break that level, you know, then we're in a five minute breakout. So uh, not bad, for sure, not bad. I, I didn't take... Uh, enough size on it early on. Early on, the volume was also pretty light. By the time the volume picked up, it was a bit more extended. I took some bigger trades, lost. Uh, so wasn't able to get totally dialed in on this one, but made some money and uh, we'll live to trade another day. So that's uh, good to see at the very least 200% uh, squeeze. It's got short sale restriction. It's a hard to borrow stock. And you got some nice action on it. 925 is a daily level. If it breaks that, you've got room up to 1187. So those are some technical levels that are worth watching. And if you can get green, you gotta be grateful and shut it down. It's been a slow month. Uh, today's the biggest green day I've had in a couple weeks. So, you know, it's, it's not a big green day. I'm not at my daily goal, but green is good. So that's uh, the recap, but a reminder as always, in case you already know that trading is risky. Most beginner traders do lose money and my results are not typical. So make sure you trade in a simulator and don't trade with money you can't afford to lose. With that, I'll see you guys uh, during the, the morning show tomorrow around 9.15 a.m. And uh, maybe we'll see if this sparks another little round of momentum. I hope you really enjoyed that video and make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Our goal is to hit 1 million subscribers this year, but we won't get there without your help. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button.